going on you guys today is sunday happy sunday i hope you're having an amazing day so far i've had some hiccups already today and i'm just trying to <sighs> doordash just like froze i've had to turn my phone off a couple times i've had to move a couple times instacart was froze i don't know what's going on with my apps today um with that being said my fellow drivers out there if you completely rely on one app, um, I wonder how you do it when your app is frozen. So my deepest condolences to you, I would highly suggest getting multiple apps because when one app goes down, how are you making money? Um, I can't do that. I solely depend on gig work um, and driving to pay my bills full time. I don't have a normal nine to five job. So my advice, you can take it or not, is make sure you multi-app, meaning have multiple resources or multiple streams of income or AKA don't put all your eggs in one basket. Now that I'm over and done being your mother, <laughs> I'm just saying you guys, like I, I love helping people. I try to give the best advice I can from experience. Do I know everything? No, but that was, has been my um, I started with DoorDash, so when DoorDash would go out or it would just suck or I'd get crappy orders, I never made any money and it was so frustrating. So I just decided to get this app and 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 this app and, this app. and um, I like it because it's a variety of things. You're always busy. Um, you know, one day maybe you want to go grocery shopping, next day you just want to sit in your car and deliver food all day. It's easy breezy. It's all, you know, just, just something different every single day. You can make your own schedule and I absolutely love driving. So many new followers, you guys. I'm so excited. Um, it kind of makes me a little bit nervous and weird, but it's okay. I'm just here on YouTube sharing my journey in this wonderful thing we call life. I come on my channel and I'm sharing with you guys um, what I do all day. I do delivery work for Instacart, DoorDash, Walmart, Spark. Uh, currently, I have other apps that I don't use as much, but I take along with you with me so you can enjoy the experience. Um, whether you're a customer or a fellow driver like me, um, knowledge is power, you guys. And I'm here to, you know, teach, educate, uh, let you into my world. Um, is it for everybody? No, but that is what my channel is currently about right now. So um, if you like the idea of that or you're curious about it, make sure you hit a thumbs up on my videos to show your support and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, 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 more. One thing that frustrates me more than anything in this entire world, you guys, is when somebody parks next to me. I am literally in the back of a parking lot. And these two cars parked here. The stores are all the way over there. What are you doing? So I'm moving. I ran into this problem when I was living in my car. And I can't stand it. <laughs> so I have to move. Because... Why? You have the whole parking lot. Go away. <laughs> I digress. I'm going to sit here for a hot minute. Um, we got Instacart, DoorDash, and Walmart Spark on today. It is a beautiful rainy day here in California. I'm ex so excited about the rain because there's drought here and there's always fires here or some sort of risk here. So to have rain in California is definitely a, a rarity and it's good 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 my suggestion to you is if you're afraid to get a little damp and get your clothes wet in your hair i mean there's ponchos i wear <laughs> i have a poncho in my back seat actually but i'd feel like a complete fool if i walked around with it but i do not care you guys i am not gonna let a poncho stand in the way of my money but i do have a windbreaker jacket on you guys and because it's like, it gets so damp and I, it's got air holes in it. It's like a, a, a running rain jacket from Fila. I'm sure they have them in other brands, but I don't care that it's on clearance for five bucks at Kohl's. Thank you, Kohl's. And it's bright, it's purple, it's got neon, it's got air holes. I can wear my hood, cover up, and deliver in the rain. So if you're afraid to get wet, uh, let, me, let me just say this. Thank you because you're leaving me all this money around. <laughs> <laughs> no, but on a serious note, you guys, don't be afraid to get out in the rain. Snow, that's another story. I lived in Wisconsin. I know all about the snow. Um, I was out there every day in the snow. Was I scared? Yes. But people don't like going out 
and inclement weathers. So they'll pay you a little bit extra because you did a good deed when they didn't watch. They're like, no, not today. I'm not leaving my house. I have some downtime. I want to uh, just give you guys an example. And either if you're a customer, so you understand, or if you're a driver and this is an order you should consider not taking, but if you want to take it, that's your business. So I'm going to post this order right here. Okay, I'm going to let you guys simmer on it. And we're going to talk strategy. I would never do this order. Um, if you want to do it, all, more power to you. If you're, you're bored, uh, I get it. So it's three customers. It's a $42 payout for three customers. The tip is $16.22 out of three people, which is terrible to me. The average doesn't make sense. Instacart's only paying the driver $26.66 to take care of three people and the mileage is 22.7 miles. You're going into that store, you're shopping for three people, there's 54 items, 88 um, units, which means there's a quantity somewhere. You can see on the map the houses that last house, if that's in a bad area, which in, on this particular case, it's, it's in the middle of a mountain or valley with, there ain't nothing there. You have to drive back 22.7 more miles to get back to your location, which actually has grocery shopping or, you know, joints like food. So would I ever take this order? No. When I see $42, I'm like, yes, but how much time are you gonna spend this order? You're driving, you're spending time at the grocery store shopping for 88 units, which if you do the math, uh, if you do one item per minute is 60, 60 minutes of your time, you're driving 22 miles, which if I had to guess, it, dropping off to each customer's house, it's gonna take you 45 minutes. Then you're coming all the way back. My drivers out there, you guys really look and pay attention to an order. If you don't care and you want to spend three hours of your time making $42 because by the time you get that order, drive to the store, shop for those three customers, that 88, unless you're like a total whiz and you know that store in and out. If you can organize three customers in your car, um, message every single one of them when there's things out of stock then drive to three different houses in 23 miles and then come all the way back. If that's worth your time, perfect. On a customer standpoint, I think what Instacart does to customers, you guys, if one of these customers has two items, they're sitting there for all that time and they could be five minutes away from the store. Meanwhile, you drove to two other houses. Does Instacart tell their customers they're doing this? Is it my responsibility to say, hey, Judy, June, and Jackie, all three of you guys I'm shopping for, please be patient with me. <sighs> That's not my responsibility. Two people, okay. But this order, it drives me bananas. And Instacart should be totally ashamed of themselves. Just saying. Why do they keep doing this to drivers? People who don't understand or maybe you haven't been a driver for a long time. I, why are you taking this order? And let, let, don't even get me started on the mileage and the gas and the wear and tear on your car. It's not worth it to me. But Instacart apparently thinks it's okay. And guess what, you guys? Somebody took the order. It makes no sense. The only reason I am bringing up this topic of conversation is because I want one customer to be aware of what we go through as a driver and what we have to endure, the pay, the item count, three people. I don't know if you as a customer can do it, but bless your heart if you can. It's not a cakewalk. It is never a cakewalk, shopping for three customers, driving all these miles, keeping track, going into the store on a Sunday with five million people everywhere, standing in line for you for 25 minutes, you guys. It's just, you know, the things that we have to endure, and we do because otherwise we wouldn't be drivers. And as a driver, you're telling Instacart that, hey, you know what? It's okay for you to pay me $26.66 for three hours of my time. 
they're seeing if they can get away with it. They're throwing it out there saying, hey, let's see if anybody, you know, bites the bone, so to speak. And people do. And they keep getting away with it. Paying people absolutely nothing and making their customers. I don't even know. I don't shop Instacart as a customer. But if I shopped for two things and uh, Instacart promised me free delivery with an hour wait and I got it three hours later, I think I would be pretty peeved. But we have our first order of the day, you guys. We're going to Sharky's Woodfire Mexican Grill. Um, I have my hood on. Also, if I can suggest something to my fellow drivers out there, you don't have to, but I like taking care of my peeps. Um, it's your hot bag, your DoorDash bag, and maybe your orders in a paper bag, plastic bag. By putting it in this bag, you're protecting your customer's food from the rain. And they might actually tip you more. Just saying. Anyway, we're heading into Sharky's. Let's go see if this order is ready. Order fits perfectly in my car, you guys. You can see the food in there. Um, this won't get wet. It's a pizza box. So, just like taking care of my customers, especially when it's raining, because I know this order um, is going to be a nice tip. <laughs> Let's just say that. It is 2 19, you guys. That order is dropped off as I was coming out of the building, I should say. Um, we got this Walmart order. It's a shop and deliver. Now you guys know why I love Walmart because after our conversation about Instacart, this order is $33. You're picking up 30 items shopping in store going two miles. Love Walmart. Instacart, I love to hate you. I'll see you guys at Walmart. Into Walmart, you guys. It's 2:33. Let's go shopping. Hey guys, it's 2.54. This order is done. I'm gonna head to the checkout and then the customer's house. Super small order. I think it was like 20 something items actually. Easy breezy. Three o'clock you guys. The order's all loaded up into the car. If I can share one friendly tip with my drivers out there. Get Walmart famous, okay? Um, what I mean by that is every associate in the store is usually there as many times as you are. I frequent the same stores all the time. So the gentleman in the self-checkout line knows me. The front desk people know me because I'm always in there nice and high. I've been here plenty enough time. So as soon as they see me, um, they I think they recognize me by my headbands usually because I'm always a girl with the headbands, um, which is totally fine. But I'm in and out of the store and just get Walmart famous, okay? Anyway, let's head to this customer's house. Back at Sharky's again, you guys. We're going to pick up for Ian. Um, on the way over here, I got an order from Instacart. Um, we're going to be shopping at Sprouts right across the street. Um, Ian, I'm not sure many, how many miles he are, but we're going to come back over here when we drop this off. Um, I'm going to show you this Instacart order. Uh, why I took it, I like the miles. The pay is decent. Um, I know Sprouts very well, so I can be in and out of the store because the items are small. But um, this is the kind of Instacart order I would take. And considering that it's 3 o'clock, going on 4, if I take from 3 to 4 to complete this order, um, that is my slow hour of the day. So I'm happy to fill it with something that's decent. It's one customer, small miles. It's not three customers, five million miles. So um, pros and cons to Instacart. But let's go inside and grab this order. Literally in the store, walked out, Ian's order was ready. So now when you guys are doing orders, double back in them. Make sure you go to a place and you know their food is quick. So now I can head over to the customer and hurry up to go do my Instacart order. If you're going to multi-app, make sure you know your locations. Things happen though. Um, what restaurants you can do that so you're always making money double your money every single time So we're at Sprouts again you guys I'm here um, This is another store where they know me very well here because I'm always here. I'm always nice to the cashier um, So they always know I'm doing Instacart orders it took a little longer than I expected Here's the cart for you guys 
the checkout lane was super long. So it is now 4.35, so we're gonna load up the car and head over to the customer's house. This order also took a lot of time because there were a lot of things out of stock. So um, I sent a lot of photos of different kinds of things so she could substitute. And y'all know Instacart takes away from the tip. So every single item that was missing because I communicated with the customer, I showed her pictures of things, um, everything was replaced. So my tip is not gonna go down. So this order may or may not be more because I took my time. The customer was so grateful. And yeah, so take care of your peeps, you guys. I bet you a million bucks this customer is gonna tip me more. I told you guys, if you take care of your customers, they'll take care of you. Like I went out of my extra way. I already knew she was happy. She kept, was very grateful, kept saying thank you. Um, she already tipped me online on the app. Um, so I forget what the tip was, but I dropped it off at the door. She opened the door, she handed me an envelope. And uh, she gave me an extra $10 tip and told me that I was absolutely amazing. So, and she said she, I wish I could, she, that I could shop for her all the time. <laughs> so when you guys take care of your peeps, they take care of you. Did it take me extra time? Yes, it did. But she was so grateful. Cash tip. I love it. Anyway. It is almost five o'clock or 10 to five. We're gonna head back to civilization, grab some more orders. I'm gonna turn DoorDash on, Walmart, all the apps. Woohoo! Things I do for you guys. So I had to stop because this house is full of minions. <laughs> so we got the brothers. Big one. What is that? Post office one. Bunny rabbit. It says stuck on Christmas. We got them in the car. Look, there's a little guy in the car here. So stinking cute. So cute. This is Gru's house. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. You walk away from the house, all it is is a bunch of minions in the yard. So when I was driving, I had to stop. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. But let's get back to work. Uh, we have another DoorDash order. I'll put it right here for you guys. Another new restaurant that I've never been to before. The round table. It's a pizza joint. So we're going to head inside and see if the order's ready. This order right here, dear Instacart customers. I don't know what else to say. Do you see her tip? Outside Stater Bugger, Stater Brothers. This Instacart order right here, I was sorry if I was being sarcastic earlier, I wasn't trying to be I'm just saying this is how orders should be um, for your drivers you guys you're taking care of them they're shopping for you it's just very respectful so anyway we're gonna go inside hopefully this takes an hour here's this order you guys it's pretty big um, I have not heard from the customer this entire trip there was two things that um, they didn't have I messaged her um, one was just giving her a heads up that there was only one instead of two, and then um, they didn't have the bread that she wanted, but I just got her the bigger size. Um, because I have not heard from her, that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's a safe choice to pick the same thing, different size, and just let her know that there's one instead of two. Otherwise, everything was there. So we're gonna head to checkout and then head to the customer's house. I bagged everything myself just because the tip is so high um, and I'm OCD, so the customer will really appreciate it, but we're gonna load up the car and then head her way. This house has all Snoopy in the yard, and I'll try to go across the street here and show you guys a street view, but I thought I'd do up close and personal, and then, yeah, so here we go. There's Snoopy on a plane, Snoopy on a motorcycle. We got his little friend. 
We got Snoopy with the Christmas tree. Big Snoopy. Snoopy in the fireplace and a Christmas tree. Looks like this one's just hanging on a present. So cute. And then we got the little Snoopy and a big Snoopy. So I'll try to show you guys the street view, but this street is really busy and I'm not trying to die today. I don't know if you guys can see that in the front of the yard. So cute. So it's just this big grouping of all Snoopy. 7.40 to you guys. I'm kind of sucking at keeping track of time today. Usually I'm pretty good about it, but um, I'm sitting in the Sprouts parking lot right now. Uh, my DoorDash ended. I can't get back in because I was just doing that big, huge order. Obviously that was, one was dropped off. Um, they tipped me $40, just craziness. Um, that's my biggest tip I've ever gotten. Um, yeah, so I stopped at the Snoopy house, of course, and I'm sitting here waiting, um, to see if I can get anything else. And if I don't, we're going to talk totals and I'm going to tell you how much I made the entire week. And I'm going to show you screenshots of all of the pay. Um, so it can inspire you if you are a driver already, or you're thinking about being a driver. I always put the description in the description, um, links to it, whether if you want to be a DoorDash driver, Instacart driver, um, there's a multitude of things down there. Also, um, I have my link for Upside, and if you're looking to save money on gas, it's down there too. I've made a couple videos about um, using Upside. I always use Upside. It saves me so much money on gas. And um, after like $10 or $20 payout, I wait, and then I deposit into my bank account. So Anywho, if that's something that you're interested in, it's always in the description, but we're going to sit here for just a little bit more. I am starving. Um, I'm exhausted. My feet hurt because I actually wore like normal gym shoes today. I usually wear my Crocs. Um, love my Crocs. They're just so comfy. It's like slipper shoes. <laughs> um, but Sunday night, everything closes early, so I don't see myself getting much especially since DoorDash is not on. But Monday is another start of a day and a work week. I'm excited. I worked so hard this week, you guys. So Another order here, you guys. I'm parked in front of Sprouts right now. The only reason I took this order is because all of the items in this order are in the exact same aisle. So I'm not even gonna move around the store. Otherwise I would never would have did it. Plus, I'm gonna be going home. I need to stop at a store that's right next to her, by her house, and then I'm gonna head home. So this is the, told you guys, pay your way to the places you go. If you're going grocery shopping, if you're dropping off the kids, if you're going home, always find a trip that may earns you money. So. Sprouts is right here. I'm literally in parking lot. Let's go inside. It'll take 15 minutes, not even. Easy money. Here's the cart, you guys. So we have these, soup, and soup. So we went from here to here to here. And that's why I took this order. Otherwise, nope. <laughs> Let's head to check out. It literally took me five minutes <laughs> to shop, check out. So it's the only reason I took it. Otherwise, if you're going to be shopping for 15 items, getting paid out such a small amount, um, you can. It's late at night. Came my way to go back home anyway, so that's why I took it, you guys. So choices up to you. Order was dropped off, you guys. It literally took two seconds. It was right down the road. I'm at Ralph's now. I'm going to go inside and buy um, some dinner stuff. And then um, I'm gonna go home and then we'll talk about some totals. Hey guys, so it's the end of the night. We're gonna go over totals for today. And then I'm in a separate uh, clip, I'm gonna show you the totals for the entire week. <laughs> okay, so today we did Instacart, Walmart, and DoorDash. We did all three today. Um, Instacart, we rocked it out with 94.67. Walmart Spark, 
You guys know the drill. We got $23.58 in pay and then $10 tips rolling in. And then DoorDash, I think we only did a few orders today, $28.50. Okay, so today's total is $156.75. All for the moment of truth. How much did I make all week? Did I hit $250 every day? I no ma'am, no sir, but that's okay. So let's do this. <laughs> Are you guys ready? First, maybe take a guess in the comments. So Instacart, the total for the week. And this is with um, California's adjustment pay too. I also get that if, if Instacart doesn't pay me enough, usually I get huge payouts from Instacart because they like to rip off their drivers. But anyway, I digress. 559.26 is Instacart's total for the week. 559.26. Walmart coming in second, $299.90. And DoorDash, $188.81. <laughs> so I already know what my total is because I calculated this before I obviously made this video. And the reason why I stopped at Ralph's is because I bought cupcakes to celebrate. <laughs> so I'm going to eat this whole thing. And it was on sale for $5 on Clarence. So here's a cupcake for each and every one of you who supported me this week. Vanilla. I hope you love it. It's delicious. Our total for the week. You guys, do you remember what we, you, I was saying the first day what my goal was? What was my goal? It was to hit a thousand dollars in a week. <laughs> did I do it? You bet your sweet cheeks I did. <laughs> the total for my week is ten forty seven forty seven. Holy shit! <laughs> I'm so excited, you guys. I'm gonna go inside and celebrate. I don't even know what to do with myself. <laughs> I'm so excited. I worked so hard. I hope all of my drivers out there that you killed this week. Um, I hope I inspired you. You can do it. We'll do it again to, uh, with each other next week. Let's hit another a thousand. This is my first thousand dollar week here in California. Shut up. <laughs> I remember looking back at my first week here and I didn't even make $200. Actually, I didn't even make $200 two weeks coming here because I didn't have access to apps. They weren't working. It was a huge struggle. Those of you guys have been with me through day one, you knew. So to go from $200 in two weeks to $1,000 in a week is mind blowing to me. I'm so grateful. God is so good to me. That's all. That's all I'm going to say. And my customers and the people who have supported me since, I don't know. It means so much to me. It really does. Anywho, <laughs> set up a good time. Come on, woohoo! Me, 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 me. I'll see you guys on Monday. That's tomorrow.